Watch the most important thing that you need to know, and that's how joins happen. As you can see, here is my query where I'm going to be joining the customer table and the order table on customer number equals customer number. So anytime you think of joins and you're a computer, you right away go, I've got to get the matching rows in the same memory. Each SPOO has their own memory. It's like they're their own computer. Now, let's look at physically what's happened here. At the top in the memory, because we've moved the customer table block into memory, we can see our row and it's got customer number as the distribution key. So when this row was hashed, it's on that SPOO already. But the order table had order number as its distribution key. So that row was not on this SPOO. So what Natiza does, it says, listen, let's trick this for the life of the query. Let's hash this row again, not by order number, but by customer number. And when they do that, it's going to go to the same SPOO that the other one did because hashing is consistent. If I hash the number 99 once and it goes to SPOO 2, and I hash 99 again, it's going to go to SPOO 2. And that's how they get matching rows on the same SPOO. If they don't have the same distribution key on the join column, they're going to redistribute one of those tables, and then everything's going to match up perfectly. Now, the thesis got other options when two joining rows are not on the same SPOO. It could redistribute one of the tables by the join column. Sometimes, in worst case scenario, it might have to redistribute both tables by that join column. Or it can duplicate the smaller table across every SPOO. So let's look at it this way. In our example here, we've got five rows in the whole table. That's the smaller table. And those are spread across the SPOOs the best they can. Now, what Natiza can do is say, listen, in the first pass, go get those rows of the smaller table. And they go, there were five of them. And it goes, good. Copy those five rows on SPOO 1, on SPOO 2, on SPOO 3, on every SPOO for the life of this join. And now, all matching rows between these two tables are on the same SPOO. Now you might say, hey, that's kind of cheating. And I go, look, somebody told that computer the only way to join two rows is to have them in the same memory. And they go, I can make that happen. So when you have a large table joined to a small table, they can duplicate the smaller table across those SPOOs for the life of the query and the join happens. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Click on the choice below to learn more about Nexus's amazing features. Hi, this is Tom Coffin. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you're kept up to date on all our videos.